beehive. Bamboo, earth, clay, and straw. Students from the natural building lab made a construction using just these four components. First, 15 overlapping bamboo struts are connected at the intersections with rope bindings. Then the frame of the resulting geodesic dome is filled with thin bamboo elements, creating a rigid structure. After that, a mix of earth and straw comes into play, along with an interior floor made of clay tiles measuring 16 by 16 inches, which are covered with a thin layer of clay plaster and treated with wax. The biggest advantage of the construction by Natural Building Lab is that it uses only eight bolts. That's the only part that has nothing to do with renewable materials. Everything else comes from nature and the bamboo used was actually left over from a previous installation. Structures like this are also built from earth and wood. Using earth bags and a wooden frame, you can create even more durable buildings. However, in a rainy climate, you'll need to finish them with waterproof materials. But it's another great option for a relatively quick and almost entirely natural construction. Future Buildings Steel, a ton of steel. In future buildings, they didn't choose the path of using new and super advanced materials, but are making the most of good old alloy with fast construction technology. The company offers A and S type buildings with widths ranging from 16 to 75 feet. Quick assembly is possible thanks to arched segments. These segments are simply placed one after another, easily locking together without needing any additional columns since the structures are self-supporting. On top of the easy installation of the structure, the company also makes the whole process simpler by including windows, doors, skylights, ventilation, and lots of other elements in their packages. In other words, once the construction is done, you just need to decorate the interior. DTC Pavilion Here we have not steel, but a much more exotic material, sweet chestnut wood. Buildings made from this wood are resistant to drought and heat, but the material is very difficult to use in construction. The wood doesn't grow straight like pine, and it also causes corrosion of metal fasteners, so a special approach is needed for building. In the end, Digital Timber Solutions found a way to tame this inconvenient material for construction. No metal, the structure is made entirely of sweet chestnut. By the way, this is why the building falls into the category of quick assembly structures. It's true that this is only a project for now, but that's exactly how the path to something new is paved. So who knows, maybe soon this wood will be used for quick construction in hot climates. Pallet Shelter No one should go unsheltered when shelter can be built in a day, says Pallet Shelter. And not only do they say it, they actually do it. Do you know what the company uses to build its homes? It's clear from the name, pallets. But not just any pallets, they're made from fiberglass reinforced plastic with an insulating foam core. Because of this, construction isn't as cheap as it would be with regular pallets, but the homes offer good insulation and strength and the price is still lower than many similar houses. By the way, the shelter is really built very quickly. According to the company, the whole process takes at most an hour. Pop-up house. Company Atelier Artwood builds all their houses exclusively out of wood, and they do it quickly. They use a completely legit modern world cheat, pre-assembly. Every necessary element for constructing the building is assembled at the factory and then just brought to the site and installed according to the plan. Also, the company uses wood not just for construction, but also for insulation and finishing. 12 inches of wood fiber on the roof, 8 inches in the walls, and on their outer parts and the houses become not just quickly built structures from natural materials, but also homes that are ready to welcome tenants right after the construction is finished. Prefab 
Prefab Mat. Prefab Mat takes construction speed to a new level with ready-made wall modules, roof panels, skylights, or just ready beams and other elements. At the beginning of the construction, the company just places the ready-made parts in the correct spots with a crane or with the help of workers if the load is light enough. After that, everything is connected together and the structure is complete. Each prefabricated element can come with insulation in either cold or warm types. Of course, you could also select the size. However, one thing remains unchanged. The company makes its modules and structures from various kinds of wood. Essential Home The Norman Foster Foundation and Wholesome have teamed up to bring the concept of the essential home to life. It's designed simply and elegantly, but it doesn't have the flimsy look that typical affordable homes often have. The construction is much more interesting. Wholesome made a house that rests on a special membrane, which protects the interior space from moisture and eliminates the need for digging. The dwelling also has a waterproof base, and the blocks of the house are connected using concrete elements. Also, the house was finished with rollable sheets of low-carbon concrete that formed the outer shell. Ultimately, the result was a house with a unique look that offers total protection from harsh weather and is modular as well as entirely recyclable. Villa Cabin for $27,270, you can buy a kit that builds a villa like this. Its overall dimensions of 28 by 12 feet, including a living room sized 24 by 12 feet, a bathroom sized 4 by 12 feet, plus there's also a patio that's 28 feet long and 10 feet deep. Overall, it's not a huge house, but there's enough living space. The villa kit includes everything needed for construction. Insulation panels, roofing panels with insulation, aluminum windows, and sliding doors, as well as a framing system. Of course, it also includes all the necessary fasteners for assembly. Open House in downtown York, Alabama, there was an abandoned house until a certain point. Matthew Mazzotta was so put off by it that he chose not just to renovate it, but to tear it down and build something completely unique. Now, where the old crumbling building used to stand, there's a house with a secret. It can unfold and turn into a theater. Five sections on each side drop down in two stages with the effort of several people over the course of 90 minutes. After the full transformation, five rows of seats and three lines appear. When the seats aren't needed, the building can fold back up, allowing even for living inside, though in very tight conditions. Penny Granny Penny Granny aims to solve the housing problem, and they're doing it pretty successfully with their little houses. They can be set up anywhere on our planet in no time, because they're transported by trucks in assembled form and placed in the desired location with cranes. This is a great solution to the housing accessibility problem, but that's not all. The customer can also choose from 14 different types of houses based on his needs. There are houses with an area of 97 square feet, and there are full-size houses that offer 439 square feet of living space. However, even though housing is becoming more affordable, you still need to pay for it. Compared to regular houses, the price is definitely better, but it's still a pretty hefty sum, starting at $16,800 and going up to $170,000. Morehouse. The Morehouse container wasn't designed as a home, its intended use is as a rapidly deployable military command center. But in this case, a military object turns out to be perfect for everyday people. 
The container can be delivered to any location by truck, then after placement the automatic leveling system activates to adjust the structure on the surface. The shelter completes its deployment expanding three times its size thanks to the unfolding sidewalls. The entire process takes 10 minutes and a bit of effort from one person who presses a button and performs a few other actions. The trailer is ready for move-in right away thanks to the built-in air conditioner and numerous connection points. All that's left is to remove all the military gear and add more essential living devices and fittings. Plug Van in theory, anyone can turn their van into a home, but it takes a lot of effort. Fortunately, there's a company called PlugVan and their modules. To start the transformation, you need to drive an adjustable height cart with a module into an empty van and then secure the module inside with straps. Detaching is done the same way, but in reverse. Both full-size big vans and their mini versions can be turned into homes. In the first case, the priciest module at $17,920 will provide you with top-notch furniture, sleeping spaces, LED lighting, USB ports, a kitchen table, cabinets, a bathroom, and more. Even the cheapest module, costing $10,780, will still be quite decent. By the way, if you need to turn a minivan into a living space, you'll have to accept that there will be less space inside and all the extras will be more compact. But on the plus side, the price is much lower, $6,330. Grid Shell. Company Digital Timber Construction's already been mentioned today, but with so many interesting projects, it appears again in today's video. So we're back to building with wood. This time it's not sweet chestnut, but pretty standard timber, because the key here is the technology for fast and economical construction with reusable use. Flat polygonal faces were made connecting three edges, which are sturdier than elements where five, six, or seven beams come together at one spot. This lets you build the structure fast and without needing metal plates or brackets. Additionally, all the parts of the structure were made using just a saw blade, resulting in the least amount of waste. We're hoping that these kinds of setups will become widespread, since with all their benefits, they're already far superior to the popular traditional ones. Log Cabin With boards, a wooden house is put together, then windows are put in, doors are set up, insulations installed, and other elements are added. That's how fast Quick Garden sets up garden cabins. There are a lot of house options. There are small houses measuring 9.8 by 6.6 .6 feet, large homes with dimensions of 20 by 62 feet, or many different variants that fall in between. The price also varies, starting at $1,767 and going up to $56,393 for the most advanced option. The difference in sizes and prices, of course, comes from the number of rooms, the presence of a terrace, and many other factors. However, you can confidently say that the company's small houses, regardless of the model, are a great option for those who dream of quickly getting an extra building in their backyard. Bakehouse This house was built using a pretty unusual material, grain sacks. To be fair, FOG Architecture didn't use only this unusual material. The structure's made of wood, has two retractable canopies, and that's it. Just wood, bamboo, and grain sacks. This all is easy to assemble and disassemble, and it also has wheels. And it's not just an interesting feature. We're looking at a bakery that was originally designed to be mobile, able to move from one spot to another and set up in a new location in no time. Would you say it's not a house at all? Maybe but it has a roof and walls. What's not to like about living here? And if you think the house won't stand up to harsh conditions, you can just leave if there's a threat. Archer blocks. 
The company can bring and install either one container type house or two that connect together, creating a two section house with a passage. How about three sections? Yes, that's possible too. All of them will already be ready for the tenants. For protection against the elements, there's double glazing, insulation of walls, roof, and floor, which is made of Tasmanian oak. For a pleasant exterior, there's an exterior and interior finishing and painting. For comfortable living in the houses, they come with all the needed equipment and furniture with the amount varying depending on the version. Fibo. Clearly you can't build a whole house with these panels alone, but using them as part of the construction is a solution that can really speed up the whole building process. Why? Because Fibo panels are easy to transport, set up, and secure, and then you just have to finish all the other steps needed to put up the house. But the main feature isn't even that. It's that the company's panels are made of a wooden core covered with high-pressure decorative laminate on the front and backing on the reverse side. The company claims that thanks to this, the panels don't delaminate, don't get dirty, don't fade, and are water resistant, so they're suitable even for bathrooms. And for people who appreciate aesthetics, there's another feature. According to the manufacturer, Fibo panels have a premium look that resembles tile. Gramazio Kohler Research At ETH Zurich, they're showcasing what construction of the future is likely to look like. A robot places wooden bricks around itself without any direct human involvement. Thus, without any mistakes, falls, and collapses, a structure made up of 1,330 wooden pieces of varying thickness was created. All this without any securing. Not every person can handle such a task. In the second case, the construction was also carried out without direct human involvement. However, this was much more interesting because it wasn't a robot with an arm working, but flying drones. 1,500 modules were placed by numerous drones which didn't collide or make mistakes with the placement thanks to mathematical algorithms. All this suggests that in the age of artificial intelligence, we can step away from construction and focus on other things while robot assistants quickly build any structures. Here's the first two-story pavilion in the world made with robots. So the metal workers work just fine even without artificial intelligence. Passive House This house was built in less than eight weeks. It seems that compared to other quick-build homes, there's nothing surprising or particularly impressive about it. But in reality, during this time, a house has been built that's different from traditional buildings. It's passive. Each of its elements, from the wall panels to the floor, is designed to help the owner save on electricity and heating bills. For example, the walls have a high level of insulation, which means the heaters don't need to be turned on as often. The windows are positioned to let in as much sunlight as possible, reducing the need for artificial lighting that consumes electricity. Skillpod. One house, two houses, and then a lot more houses. Yeah, they're container type, but at least they're built quickly. The client will feel comfortable in such a home. It's equipped with triple glazed windows, insulation, heat pumps, and there's also the option to install solar panels. You can choose from various models, for example, with areas of 520 square feet, 1500 square feet, or any size you prefer. Besides that, of course, you can pay extra, and the company Skillpod will equip the house with everything needed for living. The cost will be quite high, though. For example, a fully equipped house with a living area of 980 square feet and a lot of 3,600 square feet costs $327,000.